Hi there, and welcome to this video about Hyperworks X. Today is the first day or the first look in this channel onto Hyperworks X. And in this case, I'm talking more to the ones who have been working with Hypermesh in the previous versions and come from this layout and have to adapt to the newer layout. We have some pretty cool workflow videos coming up in Hyperworks X, but right now let's just focus on where are the functions located at, how can you find yourself a way through Hyperworks X and what are the benefits of using it. So let's jump right into it. Here you have Hypermesh, um, the one we love and use all the time. So we have symbols, we have your menu bar, model browsers, panels, TCL console is below that. And that's Hypermesh. If I launch Hyperworks X, uh, the first thing you will notice is that you get a welcome screen. And in this welcome screen, you can look at different videos where they're, they're showing you how to do certain stuff in Hyperworks X and how that's different um, in comparison with Hypermesh uh, 2019 or below. So it's this getting started here, click to continue, and now it's opening a browser located here and you, you can see uh, some videos about this. We're not going into this right now, but right now let's just take a quick glance on what's in here. So the first thing you will notice is that there's quite a similarity between Hypermesh, uh, Hyperworks X and Inspire. So you see the ribbon menu or the style of ribbon menus. You have now here your sections, I could say, for example, here the geometry ribbon with um, different functions of, of geometry. And also note that in some symbols, there are multiple functions within this, this, this area. So be careful where to click. You can do different stuff in here. So ribbons, pretty clean. Um, and now working from top to bottom, let me just quickly point out to you that there's a search bar here and that's pretty cool because now I can, for example, look for solid map, click once, and I'm here. So um, if I really don't remember where I had this function and I could just uh, search it. So that's, that's pretty cool. And what else is pretty neat uh, for every or almost every um, action you could do here, there's a little video. So not sure how to do it. Just click on the video and now you know. All right, click somewhere, put in some values and hit enter that easy um below let's 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 look at the at the bottom uh we have the panels so no need to worry if you have your muscle memory trained to the panel and you love that style of clicking here that's no worries you have the panels you could use it um same st same thing like before so hypermesh 2019 panels hyperworks x panels they work the same we have this TCL console besides the panels, and also there's the message log, um, which is new in this case. I'm I'm not quite sure. Um, did I ever use that before? Um, but let's come back to um, the general layout. So we have taken a quick view on the different functions or different um, ribbons and how they are orientated. But um, how can you really find where the old function, whatever X, Y, C was or is right now? Now, there's a pretty cool tool for that. And I'm quickly jumping over to the other screen. Um, that's called uh, Tool Finder. And I will post this link into the description of this video. Now, here is, it's like that. You just press on geometry and, for example, on solids. And then you will see, ah, it's around here, geometry, solids, you could easily find it. So this tool finder can be really helpful for all you guys who are used to the Hypermesh 2019 or below layout and want to get to know where um, the Hyperworks X function is located at. Um, yeah, Hyperworks X function located at, just let me point out one more time, the search bar here. That's pretty neat because yeah, you just type in the name, for example, Richard, and you even get ah, Richard Bodies Walls, RB2, 3, so all the stuff in here. So, but yeah, 
for for building up your muscle memory, you, you should know which panel to use or which ribbon to use. So um, both ways are are good. All right, uh, this concludes this introductory video about Hyperworks X. Um, thank you for staying with me. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or something else, let me know. And I hope to see you soon next time. Thanks for watching.